Hello friends, today we are going to see the trick to find Y parameter of two port network. Okay, so without wasting our time, let's start with the first sum and there only we will see the trick. So the first sum is from EC 2001, the admittance parameter Y12 in the two port network is the circuit is here and the options are here. Okay, so first let us see the traditional way and after that we will see the trick. Okay, so the traditional way says that first you will write the equation of Y parameter. Okay, so from that you will find that you have to find out y12 right so y12 will be i1 by v2 when v1 is equal to 0 okay so this is what you have written okay so it means you have to make v1 equal to 0 okay v1 equals to 0 it means you have to make voltage equal to 0 okay so you are going to short circuit this v1 and you will say that v1 is equal to 0 volt okay now you can see this zero volt is appearing across this resistance okay so this resistance is having voltage drop of zero volt it means you will say that there won't be current flowing in this branch you can also say this resistance as a redundant resistance okay so whatever the current flowing here will come here okay so you are going to say that i1 is the current flowing in this branch i2 is the current flowing in this branch so in this branch you will have i1 plus i2 okay and now you can see you want i1 and v2 it means you don't want i2 okay so you have to make somehow i2 in terms of i1 okay so here you can see the current flowing in this branch it will be minus i1 right the direction of i1 is this way and the minus i1 will be in opposite direction okay so you will say minus i1 will be 10 upon 30 so if you use the current divider rule you will say that minus i1 will be nothing but 10 upon 20 plus 10 is it means that you will have minus i1 is equals to 10 upon 30 into i2 right i2 is getting divided into this branch current okay and you have find out this minus i1 current divider rule says that you have to use the opposite resistance okay and voltage divider rule says you have to use the same resistance okay so you will get minus i1 is equals to 1 by 3 i2 it is nothing but i2 is equals to minus 3 i1 okay so you successfully got i2 in terms of i1 okay now you can write that v2 is nothing but i1 plus i2 into 10 right so if you replace i2 with minus 3 i1 you will get minus 3 i1 plus i1 it is nothing but minus 2 i1 multiplied by 10 it will be minus 20 i1 okay so you got v2 is equals to minus 20 i1 so you will say that i1 by v2 is nothing but minus 1 upon 20 it is nothing but 0 0.05 okay so minus 0 0.05 mo is the answer for this question okay so you can clearly see just to find out one parameter you have wasted around two minutes okay but the trick you can get all the terms of this y parameter in 30 seconds okay so let's see the trick the trick says that if you have a network like RA, RB, RC, basically if you have a pi network, then you can use this formula directly. The Y parameter will be 1 upon RA plus 1 upon RB. This is your Y12 minus 1 upon RB. Y21 will also be minus 1 upon RB and Y22 will be 1 upon RB plus 1 upon RC. Okay, so it is similar to Z parameter formula, but the only difference is here you have to take inverse of the resistance okay and you have a negative sign in both of this y12 and y21 and the unit of this y parameter of all the terms it will be siemens or ohm ka inverse okay so for the same question if you apply the same formula you will get you have 5 ohm 20 ohm and 10 ohm resistance okay so for y11 it will be 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 20 1 upon 5 it will be 0 0.2 and 1 upon 20 it will be 0 0.05 so it is nothing but 0 0.25 similarly y12 it will be minus 0 0.05 y21 will be same minus 0 0.05 and y22 will be 1 upon 10 plus 1 upon 20 it is nothing but 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05 okay so it will be 0 0.15 okay so you can clearly see that y12 is nothing but minus 0 0.05 so you can clearly see that by using this trick you can find all the terms of y parameter easily within 30 seconds okay so let's use this trick into some another sums also okay so let's see this second sum this second sum is of ec 2010 for the two port network shown below the short circuit admittance parameter matrix is okay so the network is here and the options are here okay again you can clearly see that network is a pi network you can clearly use your trick okay so 
y parameter will be 1 upon 0 0.5 plus 1 upon 0 0.5 it will be y11 okay so it is nothing but 1 upon 0 0.5 is nothing but 2 right so 2 plus 2 it will be 4 y12 will be minus 1 upon 0 0.5 it is nothing but minus 2 similarly y21 will be minus 2 and y22 will be 1 upon 0 0.5 plus 1 upon 0 0.5 it is nothing but 4 again okay so from the option you can clearly see that a option is the correct one okay so you can clearly see if you use this trick in this kind of problem you are going to save a lot of time okay so that's it for today thank you guys